Well, the beautiful weather continues on into the Saturday evening after a gorgeous day today. Got low humidity temperatures in the 70s for this time of the year. Just can't beat it. But unfortunately, that'll be changing. We'll have a lot more clouds in the forecast tomorrow and a slight chance of rain as well. Our roofing 911 Skycam network outside our 12 studios. Skies are becoming partly cloudy. We're expecting increasing clouds overnight and temperatures running in the lower to middle 60s. Now, as we take a look at satellite, of course, we have some high clouds coming in from the west at the present time, light southeasterly wind. So it will cloud up overnight. So temperatures dropping into the upper 50s and probably holding steady in our rain chances the next few days, 20 to 30% tomorrow. Be a few light showers around here and there. Monday looks dry. Tuesday, most of the day looking fairly dry. And as we get into late Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, we'll have a chance of some thunderstorms. Then again, late Wednesday night into Thursday morning. So we'll have two different storm systems to deal with. We'll talk about that coming up in just a moment and some clear, cool weather again for the end of next week. Here's a look at short range future cast showing the light rains moving across the area tomorrow. Heaviest rain staying to our southwest where there's a lot more moisture available southwest of Galveston down toward Freeport. And we'll see a few sprinkles here and there. A couple of light showers, not a big, big deal, but it's certainly not going to be as nice as it was today. Rainfall totals tomorrow from the light stuff. Pretty meager. Most areas staying under a tenth of an inch. And of course, temperatures they're pretty nice across the state. And there's another weak cold front too, running from north of Junction to Tyler. That's going to sag to the south tomorrow evening as well. It's kind of reinforcing the cool weather we have in place. 30s and 40s right now in the Texas Panhandle. And there's some severe weather around Austin, San Antonio tonight. That's that disturbance heading in our direction, but the heaviest storms will stay to our south. We're just too stable, don't have enough moisture. It's a lot more unstable along the south Texas coast, but a lot of clouds coming in, a few sprinkles here and there and a few light showers tomorrow, and that's about it. Notice how dry we are. Notice the tan colors here. We're pretty dry. See where all the deepest moisture is on Corpus Brownsville. So put this into motion throughout the day tomorrow. There's our disturbance. We just don't have much moisture to work with as we head on into Monday night and Tuesday. Moisture starts coming back on Tuesday. Notice that another disturbance coming in Wednesday morning. And there's another disturbance Thursday morning. So we'll have two opportunities for showers and thunderstorms for the week ahead. I'll show you that in just a moment. In fact, long range future cast shows it pretty nicely. We're going to have one complex of storms come at us from the north Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, kind of clips the area, stays off to our east, but this could change. That's too close to say we're not going to see any storms. See how close it is to us Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, and we're going to get another system come at us from the northwest but it misses us to the southwest, but just by a few miles. So we'll have good chances of showers and thunderstorms both Tuesday morning and Wednesday morning with these two systems and we will finally dry out toward the end of the week. Future cast though tonight, you see the clouds increasing throughout the night as we fall into the 50s, not expecting any rain tonight. Tomorrow we'll give it a 20 to 30% coverage as that upper level disturbance works across the area. Not nearly as warm tomorrow as today either. So we have a lot of clouds. We'll struggle to get into the low to mid 70s. In fact, the lakes, you may stay in the 60s for Sunday afternoon. There's those sprinkles moving in from the west throughout the morning into the afternoon hours. Marine forecast, uh, water temperature 74, seas 2 to 3 feet. Increasing clouds cool tonight. Lows will be in the 50s. And as we head into your Sunday and 10 day forecast, there's those rain chances Tuesday night, Wednesday morning. Then again, Wednesday night, late Thursday morning. That's our two opportunities for showers and thunderstorms as we head into the new work week ahead. Sapphire.